Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about something very different because usually on this channel we usually do benchmarks of different games. AMD on CES didn't announce much about their own graphics cards and the reason behind it is they wanted to see the competition and they wanted to give these uh, these RX 9 to, uh, 9000 GPUs a better chance at being advertised. Now I don't know if you guys know but AMD's advertisement has been has not been really good uh, before uh, in the previous launches whenever they do a launch they their advertisement is kind of like lackluster if you ask me now I, i've got some information here um, and many people are were thinking that amd was going to target mid-range and gonna maybe going to be only perform at like 40 70 plus of gpus when they're going to launch this series now i'm going to be uh checking some leaks uh in this video today and we're going to also see that what kind of performance sh should we expecting from these gpus uh all this information in this video is going to be uh i've got this information from videocards.com and i i don't know if they're the first source for this information but that's what i've got the information from so don't quote me on that okay so a few days back i got this leak here that says that rx 9070 xt performance in games two of the games which they're mentioning here is Cyberpunk 2077 and Black Myth Wukong. Black Myth Wukong being the latest title which has all of the uh, new bells and whistles and 2077 Cyber Cyberpunk 2077 being updated multiple times since it's been launched. So these are one of uh, two of the best games uh, that you could see with uh, with a lot of the technologies like ray tracing and path tracing and stuff, okay? So let's go over these results here and as you can see 4080 Super and 4K gives like 33 frames per second 2k it gives like 77 at 1080 it gives 99 now this guy here this chinese guy here mentions xxx xt we all know what the gpu is it's actually 9070 xt it 4k is giving 30 frames per second this result is quite close to a 4080 super like amd is uh, if these results are anything to go by this is like close to a 4080 super performance which is really nice coming from AMD. Many people were expecting like 4070 class of performance uh, considering they were targeting mid-range. Now, I don't know if this was actually intentional by AMD or if they got uh, a super performant card when they uh, when they started making improvements to their architecture because this GPU uh, is going to be going uh, up to 3 gigahertz. Okay? This is going to be one of the GPUs that's going to be clocked at 3 gigahertz on many of its variants. Okay, so at 2K, we 73, which is also close to 4080 Super. At 1080p, it's at 97, just really within the margin. But you asked me from 99 to 97. These are really good results. For 4070 Ti Super, you could say it's at 4K 28, which is lower than this graphics card. Now, this is the A variant, and XT variant is going to be higher in performance than the 970 normal. Uh, I would say that it's going to be close to 4070 Ti performance than 9071. If we see these benchmarks and uh, if we try to extrapolate the results for the other GPU, it's going to be lower in performance than 4070 Ti Super uh, for sure. Uh, yeah, but still, if these GPUs are launched at close to like uh, $500 for a 90 uh, for a 9070 XT, this is going to be amazing because uh, not many companies these days are launching GPUs that are affordable by uh, us gamers. And uh, and we is going like, thousand dollars two thousand dollars for their 80 series cars 50 80 a thousand and two thousand for the 5090 now if we could get uh, close to anywhere close to 50 80s performance 4070 ti super it, if you ask me that is very like close to uh 40 80 super's performance as you guys can see in these results here it's like a 10 percent to 15 percent lower in performance than that gpu and 4080 super is close to a 58 okay so a thousand dollar gpu 5080, which is close to a 4080 Super's performance, uh, hopefully is going to be close to because 4080 Super, and uh, if you see the benchmark results from a from NVIDIA, uh, I don't see it from 4080 to 5080, uh, just rasterization or ray tracing performance, I see only a difference of like 20%. Now, is this GPU 9070 XT is like maybe 30% lower in performance than the 5080 at $1,000 and it's costing like $500. I mean that's really great performance, and I don't know who's gonna who's gonna pass on this on this kind of performance. Uh, if this is this kind of if it's this kind of performance coming from this GPU and it's launched with amazing uh, price bracket, 
then you could say that AMD is going to be, uh, these cards are going to sell like crazy, you know? And now these, these were one of the leaks and I wanted to see uh, myself that what's going to happen because AMD didn't give us much information uh, at CES. They wanted to back out and uh, they wanted to just reanalyze, I think, their prices because maybe they were trying to launch the GPUs at a higher price and they want to now go ahead and uh, launch them at a lower price or vice versa. I don't know. Now, here is another news that Parker Radeon RX 9070 XT Red Devil to ship with 3 GHz boost clock. Now, I don't know the source of this information, but I've got this information from videocards.com. This, this is going to be a 3 GHz GPU. And I think that this is the main reason behind this GPU being this performant because uh, previous iterations of AMD's GPUs, they could go maximum like uh, with normal coolers, they would go maximum like 2.6 to 2.7 gigahertz. And uh, this generation with a four, nan four nanometer process, uh, they're going to be uh, overclocking their GPUs this much. And I don't know if this, these are overclocked or if these are like within the range of silicone, of this kind of silicone, you know, at four nanometer being there. So, you know, if if they launch a GPU like a 9080 afterwards uh, with the same die as a 9070 XT, but they overclock it, the overclock the heck out of it at 2, 3.2 to 3.3 gigahertz, uh, better memory and uh, stuff like that, they can squeeze out more performance from this GPU. Or heck, even in the same class, like 9070 XT, if anybody uh, like any other vendor launches a GPU at 3.2 gigahertz with maximum like overclocks with water cooled GPU. He's going to perform even better. Now, one of the interviews with one of the AMD's representative here, uh, which was uh, done by, which I already mentioned, you guys, uh, Frank Azor is the guy here who is, uh, who's actually given us information from AMD. And Adam Patrick is uh, his YouTube channel. You can see, uh, you can check out his video. He has I've done an extensive and I've watched it and I've watched the video fully myself. Uh, he mentions, uh, Frank Azor mentions here that all of the leaks are previously pre CS leaks. All of them were like, they were not accurate, okay? He said, what I tell you is that any performance you've seen prior to CES has not been accurate. Those rumored performance leaks out there are not accurate. You're going to get better performance than most of the leaks I've seen, if not all of them. You will get better performance out of the card. How much better? I'm not going to tell you. So this particularly here, uh, leaks prior to CES, it, it was not accurate. So uh, the leaks prior to CS were mentioning, like I told you, it's going to be a 4070, close to a 4070 performance. So uh, this is really good news for us gamers. Okay. One of the other interviews with a French guy here, Michael Cassetta. Um, I don't know if I'm butchering your name, but uh, I'm sorry for that. Azor disclosed that AMD will hold a separate event to cover RDNA 4 and AMD FSR 4. What are we announcing here? The announcements of RDNA 2 and RDNA 3. We had dedicated events to present the architecture and performance improvements. We can't cover that in five minutes. If we had, everyone would be angry with us for not giving the new graphics cards the attention they deserve. That's why we decided to resolve the announcement of the new graphics cards for a separate event where we can give them proper focus. Now, what he's telling us here that there's a lot to talk about with these GPUs and that cannot be covered in five minutes. Now, if AMD did that, I know many guys would be angry because, you know, uh, us people, we want the maximum amount of information. A competition is, the, um, is, is an amazing thing in graphics, uh, in graphics cards. And if you've got a company that wants to compete with the other company, even though AMD is not going to cover, like, even though they're not going to cover, like, the high-end uh, side of the GPUs, like, and, like, uh, the 58s and the 59s, they're still going to be very competitive in the 5070 range, okay? 5070, 5070 Ti range. So I would say that this is a very good news uh, coming from all of this that we are going to get a separate event, which means that they have a lot of things to talk about and to show us different results for different games. Uh, we should, I'm not advocating for AMD here that we should uh, take their results like the final verdict, but I'm saying that their results also matter and what kind of performance they show, if it's convincing, if it's like the reviewers, uh, if independent reviewers actually match that, then we could say that AMD is going to win this, uh, uh, win this generation in the mid range. What this is looking like that, at least that what that's what it looks like. Now he further mentioned that RDNA four cards will not be priced at three hundred dollars, but also not at thousand dollars, landing somewhere in between in terms of performance and pricing. So Azor didn't provide new information behind uh, beyond existing rumors. 
already mentioned, we didn't mention that the 9070 series will offer a balance of power and price similar to the 7800 XT and RX 7900 GRE. Wow, this is this is uh, like clear cut. They're mentioning here uh, that if it's the same power price to power, uh, then uh, the GPUs are very efficient and uh, they are going to perform similar to a 7900 GRE. In their own charts, they didn't mention the same thing, but here they're mentioning that. With RDNA 2 and RDNA 3, we started making $1,000 graphics card. When you want to offer a full stack, you need three or four chips, which requires significant resources, people, money, and time. Mid-range chips also cost more because of the added expenses inherited from the high-end models. Most users want everything the competition offers about thousand dollars but that's not our focus so they're here they're mentioning that they don't want to focus thousand dollars gpus because uh you know that only like 10 percent of the people are gonna like buy a thousand dollar gpu so the rest of the 90 percent of the gamers are gonna stay below that so they are gonna target most of the market with this gpu i remember in the rx 480 gates uh, when they lost that gpu at 200 dollars, and that was an amazing gpu at the time guys and I personally bought that GPU considering that I don't have enough money at that time. And I personally bought the GPU. It gave me like five years of gaming and it didn't even budge. I also kind of like did a little bit of mining on the GPU uh, on and off. It, it like made the money that I spent on it in like a few, uh, a few months. Okay. And after that, I was free to game on it. I bought another one, the RX 6600 afterwards when it died. And uh, yeah, it, the, that GPU was amazing. I, we see that. Uh, this GPU, the RDNA 4 9070 is going to be kind of the same. If it's going to come, 9070 is going to come at $400 and it's going to be performing like a 5070 with NVIDIA being higher priced. I think AMD is going to win and the kind of RT performance that we're going to see this generation coming from AMD, uh, many rumors are that it's going to be close to three times more performance than a 7000 series GPU. Uh, that's going to be amazing. Now, they, he also mentioned in the previous interview with uh, Adam that he wanted to tell us that it's going to be performing very, 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 very much better than the 7000 series in terms of ray tracing. And they have focused on that uh, in, and they have actually focused on the performance for ray tracing in this generation. We said it prior also, but this generation is going to be extra performance for everybody in the ray tracing department. Now, all of these rumors, guys, I would say that you should take them with a grain of salt. And uh, with the progression that AM, uh, that NVIDIA is going these days, they are just launching the GPUs. Uh, like, um, I would say 5070 is very well priced, uh, but it's still not uh, undercutting the price that it's increased over the generation. Uh, gone are the days when we could, we could get a 70 class GPU close to $300. Now, uh, they're launching a GPU at $500 minimum. So, if AMD comes down from there and at less the 70 series come down and make it like $400 uh, undercutting and, and undercutting Nvidia with $100 and offering the same performance with their FSR 4 that is coming now and that's looking amazing in Ratchet and Clank I watched the video from Digital Boundary that looks amazing at least that looks amazing I don't know about the latency and the kind of performance we're gonna get because that's not disclosed yet but it looks kind of amazing. It could offer the same kind of performance as FSR 3.1 and it does improve the image quality a lot. I mean, uh, we're getting close to a DLSS kind of uh, like image quality, you know? So I would say this is amazing news and AMD is going to launch the GPUs at a competitive price. At least that's what we're expecting from them. But we shouldn't be expecting a lot from these guys because, you know, they might be trying to increase the price if they want to just... Uh, just destroy their own company i would i would be i would be really i would be really disappointed myself if they increase the price from 5070 series i think these gpus could launch at 400 dollars close to 400 dollars price for 9070 and maybe 480 to 500 dollars for a 9070 xt uh that would be amazing price okay if you ask me for a gpu that's going to perform like close to a 4080 super and a 4080 the 4070 ti super so I think, guys, I hope you got the idea that we are probably going to be getting more performance than we are expecting from AMD's coming generation. And uh, I'm really excited for, for these GPUs from, from NVIDIA and AMD because they're, whenever there is competition, at least they're 
is some competition in the mid-range market. So we are going to get great results with respect to price because uh, if they compete, we are the only people who are going to win, the gamers, okay? So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And tell me in the comment section below, how did how did you like this, this kind of a video? And I'll be sure to uh, make these kind of videos more. Okay, see you all in the next one. Happy gaming and bye-bye.